<laughs> all right, so you go over. He's got all this stuff in his in his, his apartment. He's got his clothes. And he's telling. He's talking to you about this idea. From there, talk to me uh, about how did you guys bootstrap it? Did you just start selling a little bit online? Did you raise cash right away? How'd you get it rolling? Yeah, the original concept was let's take this vintage product and let's use this as kind of our minimum viable product. Okay. Probably was not said that eloquently. Definitely was not said that eloquently. <laughs> but M MVP, what's, the, what's that? MVP, yeah. what's that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Essentially, that is what we did where we said, okay, let's take this product. We'll list it online. We'll take photographs of it. We will make it look like you can buy multiple of this vintage ski suit that we have. And we'll see how many people we can drive to actually click. Okay. All right. All right. Can you and guys Jen's, hear me? Or am I cutting? Yeah, yeah. No, no, you did. Yeah, that was perfect. And did, Jens, did you build the website yourself in WordPress? How'd you guys put it together? <laughs> we, I mean, we like, it was pretty rough. I think Chris actually designed the first one. We like split copywriting. It was bad. Duties. Uh, yeah, we, you can go. There's a there's a tool online. Actually, it's great. Everyone should know about Wayback Machine. If you Wayback Machine, shinesty.com, you can see the very first website. Actually, oh, you can see that's the cool. page, and then you can see once it launched. Yeah, it was uh, bad. It, it's come a long way. Uh, yeah. So so then let me guess. Let me guess. You started getting hits, and you're like, oh shit, people are actually ordering this thing. <laughs> well, yeah. it was like pretty hilarious because we, like to start, before we even had the site, we we put up a splash page that just kind of had like some inspiration imagery, like this is the type of stuff you're going to find there. This okay. is like how what we're going to do. Uh, and so we, we'd already like captured some emails before we actually launched the website. Okay. And I remember it was pretty hilarious because Chris and I, like he's talking about like we, you know, describe the images, we'd post these listings and we had like... I, I want to say it was like 70 or 80 products probably, but okay. we'd gone through the trouble of like photographing every single one, uh, you know, all angles, more interesting shots. We wrote one off descriptions for them. We described their quality and the size and the brand. And we did this like 80 some odd times. And we sent our first email like, cool, you've been on the wait list. It's open. Here you go. Go at it. And like every single product sold out. Wow. And I, I was like kind of, <laughs> blown away because I'm like, well, that's incredible. That's a great, like, uh, you know, first email out of the gate. I'm glad we sold out, but also that took a really long time to write, to launch 80 individual products. Mm -hmm. did, did you have a social media following, following as well? Did you have like a Facebook following Instagram, any of that going on at that time? Yeah. Chris yeah, we did piecing that together. Yeah, we okay. just were trying to be funny, basically, right? And and which is kind of actually what the brand has really turned into. If you take a step back and think about it a little broader, we were just trying to make people laugh because we're selling ridiculous shit. And so <laughs> why not sell it to them in an absolutely ridiculous way? And so we were, you know, posting funny pictures, posting early memes, posting ridiculous jokes. And we had built up a pretty small but like hacky following at that time on Instagram. The Rider Flex podcast features entrepreneurs, business executives, and the stories behind how they got there, as well as daily tips on career advice and job interviews. Our show can be heard just about anywhere these days, but you can visit riderflex.com and click on the podcast page to hear all the previous episodes and learn more about the recruiting and consulting services we provide. Contact us at the email address info at riderflex.com or 888-964-5876. Thanks so much for listening. And if you enjoy our show, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and like the episodes.